What's up, y'all? Got a film with a fee, so let's get into this tea. Ah. It saddens me to let y'all know that DDG and Halle have broken up. Dear friends and supporters, after much reflection and heartfelt conversations, Halle and I have decided to go our separate ways. This decision was not easy, but we believe it's the best path forward for both of us. I cherish the time we've spent together and the love we've shared. Despite the changes in our relationship, our love for each other remains deep and true. We are still best friends and adore each other as we focus on our individual journeys and our roles as co-parents. We cherish the bond we've built and the beautiful moments we've shared. As we navigate this transition, we ask for your understanding and support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love and encouragement, DDG. Oh, no. <laughs> nah, I don't think it's Cap at all. He wouldn't have made no post like that. That nigga ain't made no post like that. And to be honest, we haven't, um, we haven't really seen them together like that. Also, uh, they was getting, like, Hallie just moved into a house, her own house or something. Yeah, gotta be trolling because he dropped a vid on his podcast. I don't think. What's his podcast? No Ordinary Podcast. They think on growing up in Compton, Brooklyn drama, Mary's Mad. Yeah. Nah, I think it's serious. He had to let everybody know, though. He had to let everybody know. People would have seen him with a different woman. They would have been, you know what I'm saying? Asking questions and shit. Let me see if Shay Room has it. No. Shay Room ain't got a hold of it. Golly. Well, I'm just letting y'all know um, that happened. Y'all know I got to make this video eight minutes, so let me react to my good sis voice, one of her videos. Uh, Karma dropped the video spilling some tea. Karma, are you in a relationship? What you got going on? What is this? What is that? Yeah, I'm thugging. <laughs> I want y'all to know I react to the full video. It will be on my Patreon. Link will be in the pinned comment. She said what she had to say. And, you know, I accepted the apologies only because I'm aware of who you was dealing with. You know what I mean? So I understood how a lot of stuff could play off, off camera. So I was like, you know what? It's cool. But it wasn't nothing like he, he, ha, ha, or woo, woo. It was more so sort of like kind of even give her example. Like, see, this is why you mind your business. This is why you don't laugh at nobody else. Pain. Y'all know I have, I have already said it in the past. Cree had hit me up before because he wanted to collab. But at the time that he hit me up, it wouldn't, it wouldn't add up. <laughs> like, he just wouldn't add up. So I felt like he was doing it just to be messy. Like, you cannot teach a man how to treat Honey you. wasn't adding up. Chris don't even know how to be like, yo, let's collab right quick. You, you cannot teach a man how to love you, and you cannot teach a man to make you... I guarantee, because he was trying to do it. He's white. Oh, it's on Shade Room, ready. okay. I learned that. Carmen, what is thugging when you got Big Boogie calling you his girl? I'm in the break zone giving my girlfriend a hundred dollars. <laughs> Let me start over. 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 Let me start this ain't enough. I ain't never a hundred dollars. Baby, I never did this. Baby, get your nigga down. Shut the fuck up.
Carmen publicly is probably saying that she's thuggy because she really don't know what's going on. You got girls coming out saying that they still messing with Big Boogie. So sis is just sitting back, just enjoying the ride because she's been through stuff like this where she has said publicly that she's with somebody and then things start going left and things start happening. So I get it. Keep your thing private, sit back, enjoy the ride. Whatever happens, happens. And we here for it, period. But let's move on. Let's talk about ZJ So Cool because he dropped a video explaining why him and Lexi broke up again. I feel like she was a blessing to my life, just like I was a blessing to her life. Yo, what the hell, bro? So I don't wanna, I don't wanna stomp on her name in any way. She's a great person, and it could. Yeah, I'm not surprised that everybody breaking up. I don't know why y'all surprised. First of all, y'all gotta stop thinking YouTubers or content creators don't go through shit. Cause niggas go through shit. I break up with Honey Sauce every other day, well, a couple years ago, <laughs> but like. Some some things ain't worth it. It's just not worth it. It worked out, but honestly, especially I just, when you got kids involved. I feel like I'm not in a position to even be in a relationship, and that kind of led me to. I the, understand why DDG and Halle would have broken up because they both have two careers and they both have a career, and they trying to. It, they ain't got time for each other for real. Depression, being in a relationship when I wasn't really good, and you know, like once I realized that. We didn't have a breakup because I cheated or because she cheated or because one of us hurt each other. It was just a mutual agreement where I said, I just don't want to do this right now. And it's, it's better for me to just be alone than continuously try to be with you and then us just be beefing every single day. As you guys know, some drama did happen recently about my daughter's arm, my baby mama and my ex, but it's life. I've never personally broken a, a bone in my body, but my daughter is different for me. I'm not my daughter. She, she got two different households, she got siblings, she got a lot going on. She's very active and somehow she, she fractured her arm. And for those of you that don't know, yes, a fracture means it's broke. The same damn thing. This happened and it wasn't in my care. And somehow I didn't let the story out, but it got out. And then there was some arguments going on, right? So I realized, man, I just can't be with someone who any given moment, some drama might happen. And instead of them stopping it, they add to it. And not saying that's why we broke up, but I just feel like, you know, like, can you really be in a good- You saying that's why y'all broke up. Happy relationship with someone that's beefing all the time with the mother of your children. Even though I was technically beefing with the mother of my children, I stopped because I realized this can't go on forever. Same with me and Nike. I been stopped beefing with her. We became friends. Everything is better after that. I like Lexi. I think she's a good person, but I think she doesn't know her boundaries. But at the same time, I get it. Royalty has her own fan base and I'm pretty sure they're picking at her and she feels the need that she has to defend herself because CJ is not saying anything in her defense. But at the same time, he's put in an awkward situation because... I think CJ just really don't want no drama now. You do get to a point where it's like... I don't feel like it. I have been there for like a year and like... I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it, and I'm not. I am not. I like my peace. I like my friends. I like my girlfriend. I like my children. Mango get on my nerves, but I love them. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't have time for the rest. Royalty is the mother of his kids. You're his girlfriend. So he's trying to make everybody happy. For his sanity, I think he made a great decision. And that stomach like that? look Probably like it hurt. Not. Okay, loneliness get the best of CJ. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be back with Lexi again. Or maybe he's talking to somebody else and he's moving on. Who knows? Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Nah, this is my boot. <clears throat> So y'all are on good terms right now. This is my boo. We always on good terms. Oh, and hey, to, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uzi said, I'm always with JT. Forever. I'm with JT forever. He with Nick forever. Period. What? Tell him. I'm with you forever. Nah, I ain't gonna push you to see. <laughs> you said him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, guys. So <laughs> y'all are on good terms right now. Okay. Cardi is on what... Twitter Spaces rampant, uh, ranting. Can you please send me that the link? When y'all see something, send the link. But all the people want to know. Yeah, we. That's well, the only we, way we, I'm gonna we, be able to tap into it. Been good. good. It just they don't. They just. I don't be caring about people being in my business. So I like the assumption that people don't know. Mm -hmm. What the fuck going on? Yeah, people would be in the comments like, oh, y'all need to get it together the whole time. We got it together. Like, we, we be chilling. We be <laughs> like, literally chilling. Overly invested in something right. that ain't got nothing to do with them. 
So. But that's your life, so. Yeah. yeah. So I yeah. can deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... I thank y'all for coming. So we Thanks for having us. us. Yeah, Thank it was very for like the yes. first guest on the new pod. Yes, our yes. first guest. Like, and I feel like y'all was like the perfect, perfect first guest. Yes. We already so comfortable with y'all. Like y'all are like warming the up. The link right there. Just send it right here. Uh, yeah. yeah. Cause Sean Rock had to celebrate her son's birthday late, being that she was locked up on his birthday. So yesterday she decided to drop his birthday pictures on Jaden's birthday, which Jaden felt away. She tweet every year never fails. Happy birthday to the biggest Libra. Hold on, start listening. Oh. All right, y'all, let's finish. Oh god. Bruh. Now Blueface mom did speak out. Here's what she had to say. Over here trying to convince Jaden, you know, all the kids need to be together. You know, together. everybody has to take a new stance for the kids. And last year, the girl going to post her having sex with Jaden's 10-year baby daddy. And this year, we going to post. She been out of jail a whole over a month now. Even a day passed getting out of jail. And now we going to do. The Clarence the queen, I just tell the joke. Child, she, uh, um, we just reacted to this too. Child, she just apologized for we it today. To look at engagement rings, and Queen said that she found the one that she wants, which I'm excited for her. Mommy's gonna go first. Ready? I'm gonna go first. Just give me my money. <laughs> just give me my money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Legend, it's your turn. Ready? Go. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Bad. Tyson had announced after winning his championship game, congratulations to him that he's coming back to streaming for good. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm ass. Wait, 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 wait. Kai, is that Trash. official breaking news that you are retiring from your career as a professional basketball player? Yes. <laughs> I'm going back to streaming. And I'm glad I get to go back to streaming because I got a new goal I got to get. And I gotta and I gotta start tomorrow. Oh, no, not tomorrow. Hold on, don't confirm that. I'm bugging. I'm gonna start this week or some shit. Can you share the goal? Yeah, I know what the goal is. They know what the goal is. It's a new goal in the sky, and I'm going to get it. Last question. I can't do this no more. I'm ass. <laughs> oh my god, he is. I was there. Rash. Ah, uh, y'all. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.